Hi, my name is Diani Whitehawk. Um, I am Sichango Lakota, German and Welsh. I'm an artist, mixed media artist and a painter and a curator. We are raising funds for the public programming to support the Sinew exhibition that will be exhibited at the Tweed Museum this summer and fall. This exhibition was created in conjunction with the Guerrilla Girls Twin Cities Takeover. Artistry in Bloomington, Minnesota approached me to curate an exhibition to coincide with the takeover. I decided to use that opportunity to highlight some of the strongest female native artists of the Twin Cities. The artists in the exhibition are Carolyn Anderson, Julie Buffalohead, Maggie Thompson, Louise Erdrich, Hyde Erdrich, and Elizabeth Day. This grouping of artists is uh, among some of the strongest currently active female Native artists in the Twin Cities. It does not encompass all of the female Native artists in the Twin Cities currently working, um, but it is a very healthy grouping of people that provide to us a variety of mediums and genres and a variety of uh, points in their artistic trajectory. I'm really excited to have the Sinew exhibition shown at the Tweed Museum because I've, I have watched the museum's commitment to exhibiting Native artists and to their commitment to the Native community within Duluth and to their commitment to creating intersections for Native and non-Native artists and community members to interact with one another. This is a really fantastic exhibition with a wide variety of art forms represented. There's painting, weaving, video, sound, installation. It uh, defies understandings of maybe what people might expect female native artistic expression to be. So I would like people to see this exhibit and walk away with a clear understanding of the variety and strength that is female native art artistic expression. I would like people to walk away with a clear understanding of the variety of our experiences, of our voices, of our uh, concerns, and um, of our beauty and strength that we have to contribute to the artistic world.